Well, let's go over to the World Series real quick. Uh, there was some interesting happenings the other day within Game 1. Uh, Major League Baseball stopped Martin Maldonado from using um, illegal bats that were gifted to him by Albert Pujols. What? So if you've seen this headline <laughs> and reacted to it the way I did, you like had all these rut row thoughts and feelings about cheating and well potential... especially with the way poo holes hit the second half of the season i was like right yeah I, I heard that it was illegal and i was like uh mm. yeah yeah it was really it uncomfortable here's what's us. going on in in 2010 major league baseball improved they're saying but tightened up the standards on maple baseball bats just across the board they said here are the new standards um, players using old bats that didn't meet those qualifications were grandfathered in and allowed to continue using the old standard bat. However, um, anybody who came into the league 2010 or later and was using that bat uh, or was swinging maple needed to have the new standards. And so manufacturers got all the memos and everything like that. The point is, Pujols gave Martin Maldonado six of these bats to use during the world series and he used it in game one and major league baseball caught on somehow found out and said hey you have to knock it off <laughs> like you can't do that because <laughs> Mar- maldonado came into the league i think in 2011 which means he was not grandfathered in and he's not allowed to use those old bats but albert pujols still could now, here's the burning question we're all wondering is what does illegal mean? Basically, the league is stressing heavily that this is a safety issue and not a competitive issue. This is not a performance issue. This has nothing to do with pop or the bats handling it's not in like any they way. Were corked. <laughs> right. It's ultimately only a safety issue. That's what the league wants you to believe. However, my belief is if it's a safety issue and that there's an issue on the field that that could make it not safe and you say we have to stop making it unsafe, then you can't onesie twosie make it unsafe when you think it's okay. <laughs> you right. Have to make it, it either it either stays unsafe for everybody or it's instantly safe for everybody. The end. Right. Yeah. I think that makes so, perfect sense. If there's no competitive issue, why are you grandfathering people in? Yeah. And and I can kind of see like, it would make sense to me if Major League Baseball was like, okay, we understand you like this bat, but we're deeming it unsafe. We'd like to phase it out of the league. And And the other thing too is like, the average yeah. career of a major leaguer is so short that I'm sure that they were like, these guys will be out of the league in two years. We don't have to worry about these bats anymore. But then oh, you've yeah. got the unicorn off to the side with Albert Pujols 50 years later still using this bat, <laughs> right? That they've decided yeah. to get rid of. Yeah, And then it pops up in the World Series 12 years later. Right. That's like it's so random, but yeah, Major League Baseball five years ago, seven years ago should have been like, okay, Albert, it's time for you to change your bat. It Maybe off. it'll help things in Anaheim. We don't know. Yeah, we don't yeah. Know. yeah. But no, good, it's good point. I don't know. I feel like Major League Baseball is so like halfway on so many things. Like safety here, right? With this, like mm-hmm. it's a safety issue, but you're fine, Albert Pujols. Hmm. I don't know. It's it that that's a weird thing. But the other thing that I feel like they've only gone halfway with is is the pitcher checks, right? Like there's a whole thing with Framber yeah. Valdez. He was like rubbing his, and, and so he's left-handed. He's rubbing his right hand, and a lot of people are like, "Oh, he's got a substance there." It's like, okay, well, if he does, first off, the Phillies said they weren't concerned about it. Valdez that's is a nasty, very important detail, right? I feel like that's a really important detail that if the Phillies said yeah. they weren't worried about it, we shouldn't be worried about it, right? Because we don't want to make this a bigger deal than it is. Right. But Major League Baseball has made such a big deal out of the pitcher checks. But at the same time, they're doing them after the inning. Because the pitcher, we saw with Valdez doing this, he's rubbing his hand on his shirt. Like That's so easy to do. That I don't think Major League Baseball has taken any of this seriously. It's all just visual, right? Just to yeah, appease the fans. 
yeah, yeah, optics. Because if you wanted to, if you really wanted to crack down on pitchers, you check them as they're coming out of the dugout. Uh huh. Because that's when they're going to spider tack up or whatever is when they're in the whatever. dugout. And rather than giving them an entire inning of using it and then wiping it off on their pants or getting dirt on it. So it, I don't know. It's weird. It's all weird and it's all inconsistent. <laughs> it's Rob Manfred making it up <laughs> as he goes. <laughs> The poor oh, guy is just a figurehead, though, right? We've I learned know he that is. I know he just—he's the messenger. That's he all. is. Well, Whatever. we all know what happened in Titus Andronicus to the mes- messenger. So, anyway, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows Brig. Everybody knows what happened to the messenger. Everybody. 